Because clean water flows so freely at Yale, it is easy to forget that many around the world lack this basic necessity. Yet members of Branford College are working through UNICEF to turn the situation around, participating in a student-led project called the Branford Water Challenge. The Branford Water Challenge is actually part of this program that UNICEF is doing. It's called the UNICEF TAP Project. A couple of us uh, set out in the Branford Dining Hall and we had everybody take their phones to us, go on the UNICEF website, uh, uniceftapproject.org, they would then leave their phones with us for the whole day, and for every minute that that uh, website was running on their phone, uh, UNICEF is going to donate a certain amount to contribute to distributing water in developing countries. The idea for the Branford Water Challenge originated from a conversation between Branford Master Elizabeth Bradley and Froko Divyanch Ackerwall, saving children's lives while simultaneously encouraging technology-free social interaction was a win-win proposition. Unclean water is probably the most dangerous thing that we have in low-income settings and to health generally. So if you wanted to think of one way to make a population that's very poor healthier, it would be giving them clean water. It, it really doesn't cost very much, uh, but the demand is enormous. Well, this is a perfect opportunity because Branford is already stressing the importance of being personal and more social by using uh, the tea room, which is a technology-free zone and it encourages face-to-face -face conversations. During the challenge, a team of organizers took shifts to monitor the phones and resolve any small glitches that arose. Despite some small difficulties, the challenge was deemed a success. The only real issue that we had was first realizing that if you lock your phone, the timer on the website stops. And the other thing was obviously phones running out of battery which we just got chargers and they stopped dying. So both of the problems that came up were pretty easy to fix. 49 people participated in the challenge this Sunday, but it was only a Branford wide event. It's little more than 10% of the college. So I think as a starting event, it was fairly successful. When I walked into the dining hall. I saw basically all of my friends' phones over on the table. So, you know, I wanted to support the cause, but I also didn't want to be the guy who kept his phone with him. We probably gave three or four children clean water every day for an entire year. Water Challenge organizers and participants hope that the challenge will not only expand in Brantford, but will catch on in the other 11 colleges. I think that all of the other residential colleges should do this. If we could get as many colleges involved with this as possible, that would be amazing. And it's just so easy to do. It's been incredibly easy to organize and manage. A day free of technology is a good day, and it's for a good cause. It's such an easy way to make a difference. To find out how to organize a similar water fundraising event, contact Divyanch Agarwal at divyanchagarwal at yale.edu. Meanwhile, to join UNICEF's effort to provide potable water to those in need, visit unicefteproject.org before March 31st and simply put down your phone. For YTV, this has been Wayne Zing and Rebecca Faust.